Well, good morning, weekenders. Saturday morning over here at uh, Hart Park. My mom is still in town this weekend, and uh, she can't really go on bike rides or dirt bike or that type of stuff. And I actually ended up having to take the chum bucket in for an annual. So I don't have a plane, can't do dirt bikes and stuff. So I'm starting out this morning with a little mountain bike ride, and then we're gonna go meet up with my mom later on to do some other activities that she can do. I guess I need to get changed up and head out. It is, uh, let's see, 36 degrees outside right now. So, let's go. It's my life, it's whatever. 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 And all the things they say, I'm just gonna do everything my way because I know it's my life. It's been a while since I've ridden a guys. Last time you saw footage of it was the last time I rode it. So, can I hit up these parts too, John? Get warm back up. Pocket change, but I had what I needed. Couldn't go outside, so I was always in weed. Parents both work full time, so we could keep eating. Me and bro were bad, so we got a few beatings. It was in my best interest to be disciplined Cause these days you get paid based on speaking skills and listening People judge you based on what they don't know Think they're better than you cause they rich and you got no dough Well, well, they call it class warfare More like the underprivileged against the ones who don't care If you want to tip top, you should want to share Some doing double overtime while you sit in the chair Being a stingy old man that ain't know about to sprint to the top and take over no team mama It's my life, it's whatever It's my life Tell someone what's best for them While others talk behind their back instead of step to them 90% of the time they don't want you to succeed Instead of calling an ambulance, pick your pockets while you bleed Humans are like vultures, feed off remains Do almost anything to reap financial gains It's all such a shame Someone to ruin your life and they don't even know your name In my eyes you gotta get what's yours But I won't take it away from anybody who worked hard for it All the time, it's a doggy dog environment This is ridiculous, man, I'm just so sick and tired of it Folks wanna stab me friends in the back, that ain't just Sleep it when I open, cause there's no one you can't trust No more love in the world, there's just lust Kids' dreams ain't being encouraged, they just crushed But it's my life, it's whatever 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 And all the things they say I'm just gonna do everything my way Because I know it's my life Spot. Good things come to those who try to take the tough shot Greater the risk, greater the benefit Long as you prevail, how you got there is irrelevant Always have someone who supports you through the good and the bad Smiles when you're happy and cuddles you when you're sad Just about everyone else you meet will be a fair weather If they could, they would skin you and sell your bare leather Some don't want to see your soul rot Others gonna try to ring you like a robot Living your life for others, it'll haunt you So better live the way you want to it's my life, it's whatever, it's my life, it's whatever, it's my life, it's whatever, it's my life, it's whatever. 11 miles, 1200 feet of climbing, overall pretty good ride. I did actually want to do a little bit more mileage, but um, it's already 9.30 and uh, I'm sure my mom is awake by now, sitting at home, waiting for me to come back to go do stuff with her. So. On my way back home to change out vehicles, pick up my mom, and uh, I think go to the airport. All right, weekenders, I've uh, decided that today is also the day to bring the old Taylor Dunn over to the airport. What better way than to drive it over there? I should have about a 10 mile range on this thing, and it's about uh, nine miles to get there, so I got a tow rope with me just in case I need to get rescued. <laughs> But uh, I'm, I'm hoping that I make it the whole way. I'm gonna try and stay off the main road too, but we'll see, I might have to get on it for a little bit.
airport. Almost there, guys. Look at the legend. The legend. Five miles an hour, but the legend is moving. Sweet home for the TD. So we're at the airport, of course. Um, the reason why we're here, uh, we, I mean, me and my mom, doing some work on the kit fox. As you can see, my mom is redoing the fabric that I undid because of my big problem that we had for a while. And uh, I am about to start working on the elevator and horizontal stabilizer that is right in here i do a little bit more ironing on these guys and if i can get that done hopefully we'll be spraying these puppies silver today okay didn't do much filming of the plane activities but we did get uh ooh. we did get the initial fabric and stuff put on to the vertical so i need to do some brushing some finishing tape stuff like that and then the uh, other stuff in the paint booth it's silver now. Definitely doesn't look as good as it did before it was silver. But the sun's still up, so we're gonna go do some activities outside. We're back at the house. Uh, we've decided that what we're gonna do is take the Bronco, do a little bit of Broncoing, and before we do that, we're actually gonna take the roof and doors off this thing. So let's get to it. Transformation is complete. Let's go. You got this special little thing when you undo the plug, where you can plug it in right here. Good morning again, weekenders. Sunday morning now. Back at the airport, coming to check on some of the stuff that we did yesterday. It doesn't look like the best thing ever. The silver really starts to show all your mistakes. Got a little bit of ironing down to do uh, on some of these edges and stuff. But 
overall, not terrible. The ends are um, pretty bad looking. But I think it, you know, as long as it flies, it'll work. What I'm going to work on right now though, getting the vertical on the kit box painted up in the pink stuff. That way we can start doing the tapes on it later on today. So uh, yeah, that's uh, activity number one. My mom showed up a little while back and we got a bunch more work done. I uh, put up a little whiteboard right there for the darts. That's what I've been doing. My mom has actually been doing a lot of work on the kit fox. So I made a little bit of a mistake whenever I was brushing uh, all that stuff before. We got a good bit of spatter right on here. So probably going to have to repaint that because that spatter stuff will start to kind of melt the paint. But we got all of the horizontal tapes on and those things just have to be ironed out. Then do the vertical on the back and then the front. And then we all taped and it'll be pretty much ready to be painted or sprayed, but that's not gonna be happening today. We gotta let that stuff dry. And uh, we also got other stuff to do. All right, so I'm home now. Um, we had to come back home because Logan and Hillary were coming over here to show off the new baby and uh, that was going to be the next thing we were going to do was hang out with the baby. And uh, they came here for about five minutes and then had to leave. So that's not happening. I guess it's pretty much going to be it for the day though because that's really what I had planned for the whole day. I know uh, pretty much nothing has happened video wise today. But we did get a whole lot done on the airplane. Just didn't have time to film much. I mean my hands are kind of still covered in paint kind of hard to film when you're covered in paint so hope you guys still enjoyed watching i still enjoy living it see you next time croissant